And you find out at the end that this whole fucking thing was just a Christian propaganda film. Really? Yeah. You don't have what? Glenn, you don't what? have Glenn Beck in a movie if it's not like a, some kind of a, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. Sean Patrick, Patrick Flannery is like super uh, Catholic. Really? Yeah. What is it? Because he what, was in Boondock Saints. What is the movie good? <sighs> See, that's the problem is that it would have been a little long winded, but good if it would have cut out at the right time. And the right time would have been, well, I don't want to give it away. It does start Glenn Beck as himself. Yeah. Yeah. Sure enough. Yeah. So I'm like two hours into this movie. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> like we both. That's so weird. Aaron and I both got duped. We're like watching this thing and then we're like, I mean, it wasn't bad, like for the for the, a lot of it, but then it just got like you know when you're um, you're reading like uh, like oof oof what yeah the last movie these guys made was a movie about a Planned Parenthood person who had performed twenty two thousand abortions, but then one day had a change of heart. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oof, wow, oof, yeah, yeah. I mean, nothing against that. I don't want to get on that conversation, but. Yeah, these guys clearly but, have but a they point clearly, of view. Yeah, they have an agenda in their movies. They're trying to send a message to people, I guess. Oh, the same writer of, of God's Not Dead and God's Not Dead too. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and, yeah, definitely. I mean then I realized I'm not gonna knock the movie for that, but it no. but it would be nice to know that up front. Yeah, yeah, well and the problem was is that like then I'm like, Oh, now I know why I got a six point four rating on IMDb. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Because you got all these Christians that are watching they, it they and they're gonna give it, it a fucking ten. And just, they think it's great, yeah, because yeah. of the has such a strong message here. But I was pissed. Yeah. I was Did like, you see Sound of Freedom yet? No, I haven't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I I will at some point. Will you? Well, I mean it, it's a cultural phenomenon, I have to, right? <laughs> I, I hear it's the highest grossing movie of the year. <laughs> yeah. I I don't think the numbers support that, but I've heard, I've heard <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so should we do numbers on this movie? I think so. Yeah, sure. So, who wants to kick her off? Ten out of ten. Wow! Wow! wow. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. 10 wow. Out of 10. So, okay. Wow! I, yeah. I wouldn't have expected that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't say a really a single bad thing about this movie. I think it's like, I think the comedy they had comedy in all the right places. Like it, like it. I think it's really tough to keep that tone, you know, throughout the whole movie. Like where it's not too silly, you still got that comedy aspect to it, you know. And I think you know the action was great. You know, I don't think, like you said, there wasn't that much gore. I, you know, looking back and thinking about it after you said that, like you're right, there's not that. There's much. Mu- not much there. But, but I, but I, but I, I there is feel a like, stump love scene. There yeah. was a stump <laughs> love. That was, but that scene was a little weird, man. Like okay. they're connecting on him, her, her redoing his bandage, and I'm like, yeah. there's the sexual tension was just yeah. five yeah. feet thick, and I'm like, really you know, over yeah. this? So yeah, you gotta, uh, you gotta stand by your man as he's ready <laughs> to go into battle. Yeah, <laughs> but I love that actor that, that plays Rex. I think he's great. I'd love to see him in more shit, and uh, you know, I just think it's a solid movie. I, I think it hits everything really you know perfect or you want me I'll, to go I'll, yeah. I'll go i feel i feel bad now after you just you just tend it <laughs> <laughs> i'm not i'm not giving it a 10 uh in fact i'm i'm gonna go lower than you probably think i'm gonna go really yeah hmm. uh, even though i really have not much bad to say about it the movie is very good and i would recommend it and i think that if people haven't seen it or haven't heard of it, they should seek it out. Absolutely. You know, uh, it's definitely worth a watch and hopefully it has more fans. Uh, despite that, and despite all the good things, I, I don't know that it's going to be a classic or a cult classic or any other kind of thing where, mm-hmm. you know, people are going to be like, man, that movie really, that's the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, Partially, I say that because, I mean, I watched it three years ago, and, like, parts of it came back to me while we were watching it, but the fact that I didn't really remember it mm-hmm. in three years, that doesn't that's not a great sign. Yeah. All that being said, I'm going to give it a 6.9. Oh, that's pretty good, actually, yeah. for you, though. Yeah. So, I'm going to go with a 
two, Whoa. which might be my highest rating ever. Whoa. Which, which I guess if it is my highest rating, I'll probably say that um, that I'm becoming Gavin, where my system doesn't make any sense because I don't know that it's the best movie we've ever I mean, watched. It's not the janitor, but <laughs> but you can't really say anything bad about this yeah. movie at all. I do just feel like. It didn't really the the only beef I guess I would have with it is that it's kind of like you said where you watched it and you didn't really remember it. Mm-hmm. And there this I do feel like this movie doesn't have anything in it that makes it super super memorable. Does it it's have 37 solid for, dicks. It's <laughs> it, yeah, it doesn't have the 37 dicks moment where yeah. where you're going to remember that scene for the rest of your life. I think the scene that was supposed to be that was the scene at the kitchen table. But it didn't, it, I mean, it was good, but I don't think it... Yeah, it was probably either the kitchen table or the, um, like, the yeah. le- killing the guy with the leg. But, yeah, it's just, I don't know, it just missed that mark. Mm-hmm. But other than, but there's no reason to not watch this movie. And, yeah. and again, with this movie, I think this movie falls into one of those categories where even if you hate mo- horror movies, you'll probably take something... Mm-hmm. You can at least make it through this movie. Yeah. You're not going to hate it. So it's very solid. But as far as like never forgetting it, I think it, it might have fell short from that level. Yeah. So it's not it's not iconic. Like the there janitor. you go. That's a great word. <laughs> like the janitor or Die Hard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or Barbie. <laughs> or Barbie. Or, bar- oh, or, or oh oh. I <laughs> oh I, wait 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 wait. Gavin has something to say about Barbie. <laughs> no, I don't. Not allowed to talk about that. Um, um, but yeah, it's not it's not iconic. Like you know, Die Hard. Yeah. Or uh, First Blood Part Two. Yeah. Not first blood though. <laughs> Rambut. So, all right. So, um, I think it would be my turn for the next movie, but I don't. Well, I do have an idea for a movie, but we have to talk about it off oh, recording. Okay. It's so, porn. so yeah, it's totally porn. <laughs> oh, no, man. it's not porn. Is it the? But, is it Gavin's talk about the ping pong balls? Is that? Yeah. Got y'all. <laughs> no. This is a triple exorcist. Yeah. So one yeah. of you. Sex squatch. We gotta one, get to. We have to get to sex squatch at some point. Oh one of you has to. Uh, actually, it's on my plex, so we can do it anytime we want. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Why is it so, there? <laughs> Shit, we can do it because it, somebody a, gave it to me at some point in time and said we're going to do this on the podcast. It wasn't so, me, so I, I, put it I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know what we need to do is you need to get a projector in your backyard, so when we have a bonfire, <laughs> we can just put watch. it on the side of your house. Watch Sex Squatch. There you go. <laughs> So one of you can have the next movie, whoever wants to take it. Gav, it probably should be... It'd be Gav, because I just... You did Bloody yeah. Hell? Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll, I mean, I'll take it if you're throwing it. I don't know what it is. You don't but, know what the movie is at this point in time? No. I mean, I might be pulling something random off of the list. Or, you know, it's it's funny because each time... You know, I think about what my next movie is going to be a couple of days later. Then something else is like, well, yeah. I want that to be the next one. So I don't even want to say something because a week from now I'll be like, nope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a couple that are lined up, but you know what movie we need to get to at some point? Like when we go, when we start going back into the the trash year. Killer sofa. No, <laughs> greasy strangler. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, a hundred percent. Like I can't believe neither none of us have. Well, I mean, uh, obviously Eric wouldn't yeah, pick yeah. fucking I, Greasy no. Strangler. But is it is it available to watch online? Yeah, it's on like. Uh, I'm sure Tubi. it's on Tubi. Man. Okay, Greasy Strangler. I'm throwing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> All, right. All right, sorry. Next, this is it. You haven't seen it, right? No, I have seen it. In fact, I've got a I've got a poster signed by four people from the movie. Oh, okay. Well, I haven't seen it. So. You've not seen it. I have not. All right. Oh, I've, shit. The, I, I've literally watched like the first 10 minutes of it, and I try, I was trying to watch it with Aaron, and I was like embarrassed watching it with her. It was like when we first started dating. <laughs> so I'm like, because I was like, I, I want to watch this movie. Do, and, do you like Gummo? Yeah, I love Gummo. You're going to love the Greasy Strangler. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, wow. So this movie is on par with Gummo. I'm going to love this movie. You're going to hate six, it. You're going to absolutely hate it, Eric. All right, so we got it then. In two weeks, it'll be the Greasy Strangler. Yeah, All let's right. get greasy. So with that, we'll wrap this episode up, unless anybody else wants to talk about anything not related to the movie, because that seems to be the moving theme of this podcast. Die Hard yeah. Christmas movie, yes or no? <laughs> yeah, it's a Christmas movie. Heck yeah, it is. <laughs> I mean, you can't argue that it's not. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. All right. We'll see everybody in two weeks.